Ken, W6BZY, with a quick video for you. Have you ever done a new install of WSJTX only to discover you need to copy data from a previous install so the program has the information on previous contacts? It's not hard to fix, but you need to be careful of a couple of things. I will show you what to copy and what to be careful of, so let's get started. the Raspi OS running on my Raspberry Pi and I've gone out to SourceForge, downloaded uh, WSJTX. This is the newest version as of this date, which is 2.3. And uh, I had to do a little bugging, debugging. Seems like when I turn off the Raspberry Pi and restart it, sometimes the uh, USB port that it's hooked up to changes from 0 to 1 or, or 1 to 0. But once you get, I got it all sorted out and up and running, I had no problems except for that little bug we talked about before, which is it doesn't know anything I've done before, which will happen on any fresh install of WSJTX. I like to check off everything and uncheck the CQ, calling CQ, because that doesn't really tell me anything. I like to work grid squares and things. So here it is, though, after I've done all of that, and you can see the red bars. But in the next section, we're going to fix all of that problem. If you've ever set up WSJTX on a new computer, you may have encountered the little issue that I've had, and that is suddenly North America is a new continent. It doesn't know any of the states or uh, countries that I've worked before, and it's a fresh new install. So I'm going to show you three files that you can copy and move to that new installation of WSJTX and fix that problem. So here we go. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open the log directory. And mine happened to open up where you couldn't see it, so I'm moving it right here. This is the log directory. So all I did was go to File and then go down and open Log Directory. That's the easy way to find it. You don't have to go searching. The next thing you want to do is you want to close WSJTX because one of the files we're going to copy is actually being used by the program. And it's not going to copy. And all we're going to do is copy these three files uh, to the new installation of WSJTX. If you have a a server in your house or wherever you're doing this, you could just copy it to the server and then copy it off the server uh, to the new installation. In my case, I'm going to be moving it to a Raspberry Pi, and so I'm going to be using a USB stick. And I thought I would just bring this so that <laughs> everyone could see. This is a it says 128 1.3 megabytes. That's because five megabytes is being used by some, you know, by the uh, setup of the of the USB stick. I didn't even know I had any that were that old. This has got to be a very old, old uh, USB stick, but it works. I've used it before uh, today just to test to make sure it was going to work so that uh, recording this video is going to be okay. So what I'm, we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying uh, these three files to this uh, USB stick. So the first file we're going to copy is all text. I'm going to drag it down and drop it. And I don't know if that showed on my recording, but it copied it. That's actually the larger of the three files based on um, size, if you look over on the right side. The next one is the WSJTX in initialize file, any.ini. .ini. That's the one that's running all the time. So we're going to drag it down and drop it. And the last one uh, is going to be the log file. And it's the one that ends in .adi. So don't, don't take the one that doesn't have the .adi. This is the one that we need. This is the ADIF file. So we're going to drag it down there and drop it. Now we have all three files copied. All I'm going to do is take it out of my Windows computer take it over to my Raspberry Pi, start up WSJTX, and copy them into the log file. That'll be the next 
section of this video. Okay, here we are back on my Raspberry Pi. And the first thing we're going to do is open up WSJTX. And once we have it open, we're going to open the log file. And then just like we did on Windows, we're going to close the, the WSJTX. And you'll notice <laughs> it's switched. We'll see that we switched USB ports again. It's back to zero for rig control. Now, you might notice I have a few more files on that uh, stick than I had when I copied it. I've been playing around with moving files to and from and uh, sort of decided I needed a little bigger stick. So my suggestion would be use a little larger stick because you're going to move your log files and other things back and forth maybe. Uh, I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be running some some tests and there I copied the three files. Notice that I overwrote two of them. The log file didn't exist because I haven't used this uh, to make contacts yet. So it was a blank file. Um, you might want to save it if you have a bunch of contacts on it because when you overwrite it uh, they won't be there anymore. Now to fix my little issue with the uh, switching of the USB ports uh, yep, uh huh. It now is on zero, so I'll switch it back to zero. And it should start uh, showing us our uh, reception. And hopefully, it's not going to have red bars for North America. So here we go, and it's back on. This time, I'm running it on uh, 20 meters. You'll notice my sound level's up kind of high. I started to fix that and decided that wasn't part of this video, but essentially you just go into the sound controls and turn the volume of your mic down because that's what the computer sees the incoming as. And there's all of our contacts. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. The next video that I'll be posting We'll be hooking up WSJTX to the best logging program for Linux. So if you're interested in logging directly from WSJTX into a very good logging program, watch for that video. Subscribe if you'd like and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified about it. In the meantime, this is Ken W6BZY wishing you all a very good day.